He told myself he gonna talk to his people, but no, you're not. Because obviously you ain't doing the first time when I call. Money, hold on, got a cut a lot of order, order, dollars, quarters, wrist, water, the reach, water, the bitch, on the, on the, on the. So we out here on my porch. I'm about to start decorating. Uh uh, move. So y'all, I gotta sit here and right on this let's see my hands is ashy god dang shake oh you gotta shake it up i'm gonna say okay press down until cap fills with ink This too much, baby. Good lord, how long you got pressed down? You know what? Yeah, we just gonna do this last, cause this is too much. <laughs> so y'all, this is the welcome sign. So I have to change out this O. <laughs> this is the one that just came with it for this O, and I'm gonna try to use the little draw. It has some drawstring things already here. Or twist bands, and I'm gonna try to use that. Y'all, I'm struggling with this thing because it's like this reef is not as small as the one that I just uh. Okay, can y'all see that? That is really not lined up good because the hose is right here, then the other side of the reef is right there. So, oh, this reef was pretty much too big, and I'm trying to make it fit. <laughs> All right, you guys, I got it to work. It's not really in the center, but who cares? You can see it's an O, that's all that matters. Okay, so let's try to figure this part out. What's wrong, boo boo? What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh my goodness, Lord, I ain't got no privacy. I got one baby trying to climb in my legs and the other one is trying to peek into my pants in my back. Stop! How that please look? Cause I'm trying to do this in one table. Please help. How should I do the why? I'm gonna just do it. Please help yourself. I think that look good for my first, cause I ain't writing it over. Please help yourself. I wish I could do like a little Santa hat or something, but baby, I can't do all that. Let me just do a little swiggly line underneath. <laughs> Y'all, that's what we did. Please help yourself. Okay. Okay, so we got that right there, y'all. All right, so I'm still trying to figure out this area. Cause I just, I want it to flow. This thing is gonna get on my nerves. Keep saying it over and over. I know you're recording, girl. We done. Ah, it's a spider lord. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? I don't know, y'all. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. Where can I put this? I feel like it's not blowing how I want it to. But y'all, I don't like, it seems like it's just too much going on. Like over here, something is just not flowing on this side. Like on this side, on the left side, something is just not flowing. You see, it's just, for one, I don't like that ladder. <laughs> for two, I just feel like something needs to be standing up right here. Like, it's just not level. You see all this tall stuff over here. Camera recording. And then over here, we just have all of this short stuff. So I'm thinking, 
Maybe I need to have... Girl, I'm about to turn that off. Hold on. Maybe if we put the lantern on this side and then leave the trees right here. Let me see. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and do the treat basket for the mail carriers and the, 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 I can't even talk, the delivery food people. Okay, y'all. So this is the finished product. My C is a little crooked because the screw fell out, but it's all right. So I just put the white lantern over here. And here is the treat bucket and hand sanitizer for mail delivery deliverers and food deliverers rug i got the other lantern over here and i did find another um i found another light bulb so i mean another battery so i put it inside that but of course you can't see it until it's um dark and then the two white trees and then y'all i was struggling on what to do with the dead on ribbon i was trying to put it on this relic right here but the fact that it's like square it just wasn't working so this is what i did i put it like that and then i put this happy holidays reindeer right when you walk up so this is how it looks when you walk up like it it's cute so i'm driving clearly so and i didn't prop my camera up because i just didn't feel like it but i know y'all just saw me decorating the dead on porch but honestly y'all i have not been feeling good for the past couple of days i feel like it's my allergies because i have really really bad allergies and whenever the season is about to change it, it heightens it just gets bad so all last night I was like making you know like my nose was itchy so I was like <sighs> kept going like that all night but now it's like I just I have a headache which been lasting for days and my body just feeling drain so I'm about to go to um CVS and I'm going to CVS because I have a a coupon every week CVS sends out a coupon for 40% off so I'm about to go use it because I'm going to get me some Flonase, which Flonase, I want to say is like 20 some dollars. So I need to get that. And I also need to get some, um, I can't even think like it's like a pill form, a pill form of, um, allergy medicine. Cause I can't take this no more. I'm just so like miserable i really am i'm miserable allergy and sinus <sighs> Dang, you can't even buy it up here you gotta take the devil oh zyrtec that's what i was getting first of all i just recorded a whole clip and nothing recorded <laughs> i just need to go home and lay down y'all and i'm gonna tell y'all why y'all saw i had the little paper to go check out I get to the checkout, which is at the front of the store. He tell me that they don't have that up there. You have to go to pharmacy. I go to the pharmacy. They do have it. She asked for my ID. I don't have my ID. My ID is at home because I left my wallet at home because I was going to use Apple Pay. I'm not sitting here thinking, oh, I'm going to need my ID to purchase allergy medicine. I'm so irritated, y'all. Like, what do you need? I ID for Zyrtec. Zyrtec? What is people using in Zyrtec? God dang. Y'all y'all finding a way to get high off Zyrtec? Jesus. Y'all need to be a pharmacist or something. Because if you find a way to do that, you need to use your, your craft for something good. Because, geez, like, I just want to cry because I feel so, like, I know y'all can hear it in my voice. I just feel so terrible. And it's like, even in there, I, I got an attitude with the lady. Well, not an attitude, but I asked her, I said, since when you need an ID for Zyrtec? She said, because there's something in it that you need to be over age to get. Look at my nose, y'all. And my skin. 
everything is going raw right now i'm just gonna go home and lay down i think i do have some zyrtec in the house for babies benadryl something i'm about to use it because i ain't got time like i'm just i'm not coming back out no i will have to go home and come back out. i'm not doing that no mm -mm. okay it's a children's zyrtec but i don't even care how much i supposed to take Six years and over. Take five or ten milliliters. Okay, I'm gonna do ten. Hey y'all, I just woke up from a nap. But you know what I was telling y'all? I was not feeling good. Um, Front door. But I'm just coming outside to clean off the door. Probably will do so much better with the um a magic eraser. I think this is the best that it's gonna do. Cause one time I did try to use that pink, you know, the pink stuff. It's called the pink stuff, and it gets off pretty much almost like any stain. But one time, hey. Yes, I'm trying to clean off this door. <laughs> no, it just got a lot. Oh, no, no, no. It got a lot of uh, marks on it. I'm trying to clean it off. <laughs> Y'all can't really see, but this is the most I could have did with the, um, with the door. It's not 100%, but this is what I was trying to show y'all. Y'all see this little mark right here where the paint kind of came off? Can y'all see it? right here that happened from the pink stuff so this is what it's looking like yeah my neighbor y'all heard my neighbor come out here talking to me but she gave me this table this red table to put it up there so what do y'all think let me know below should i put it on the table or should i not put it on the table how do you think it looks all together Y'all, I just had to be a true Karen. I ordered Outback from DoorDash, right? I always get the Bloomin' Fried Chicken with the Aussie Fries. So the Bloomin' Fried Chicken, it comes with their special, spe um, their signature spicy sauce that is like poured on the sandwich. <sighs> I ordered it the first time, it did not come, right? So I contacted DoorDash, let them know that it did not come, along with some other things that was wrong, but this was the main thing that I was concerned about. They sent a re-delivery out. Y'all, why did they come back with the same thing? No sauce. And mind you, before I before the re-delivery even came, I reached out to Outback and spoke to a manager and let them know that if they can ensure that it's in the bag. Because you ever had a meal where you can't eat it without it could just be a sauce. Like for example, when I go to Taco Bell, I cannot get a chalupa and not have no Taco Bell sauce. I need the mild sauce. Or or like say for instance, you eat the burrito tacos. Who's trying to eat that without the sauce that you dip it in? That's the whole purpose. So if I wanted this dry fried chicken sandwich, I could have made that at home. A chicken sandwich, I could do that at home. I wanted the sauce. So I called again and he was apologizing, apologizing, apologizing. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie to you. The whole time he was apologizing, I ain't say nothing because I'm real particular. Like now when people be apologizing, I don't be saying if I feel like in my heart a heart that is not okay I'm not about to say oh it's okay because it's not okay it's I ain't say nothing I just said do I need to contact DoorDash to get a refund and he said yeah he told my son he gonna talk to his people but no you're not because obviously you ain't doing the first time when I call y'all I'm about to eat this unhealthy meal I'm looking for some daggone NyQuil because I'm just and then that's another thing it's like today just been between CVS and them not getting my water right. I'm about to go upstairs and lay down. Cause I'm just so irritated, honestly. Like 
how hard is it if y'all sandwich i know i'm going on and on about this sandwich y'all but it just don't make no daggone sense because y'all sandwich is specifically known for the sauce the name is blooming fried chicken sandwich and the sauce is the blooming sauce how the freak <laughs> i just want to cry because it's like nothing is going right today lord i had to put the twins down early because i said you their bedtime is at eight o'clock i put them down it was maybe like 7 45 i said i can't make it till eight o'clock they were just getting into everything y'all know i'm not feeling good so i just was like y'all gotta go down early today hey you guys still feel like crap <laughs> but i did go to the gym this morning and um after the gym i went to so the twins need some car seats because you know they're getting older they're about to be two they're definitely outgrowing their infant car seat legs hanging over <laughs> so today I went and got them two car seats. I purchased these from Facebook Marketplace. So somebody was up there selling the um, car seats for $80. And the, and the ones that I got was the Graco Tri-Ride 3-in-1. And when I looked it up, it was normal price, like 200 and something. So I was like, well, that's a good deal. Brand new, never opened. I did peek in there because I was on the phone with my mom and she was like, Dad, what if there's nothing in there? So I peeked in there. And now they are car seats in there. So now we're about to open it to fully to make sure they're what I want. Somebody that was, you know, two different car seats, but they're both were new. Because I'm sorry, I'm not buying new. I'm not buying used car seats. It has to be brand new. I'm sorry, baby. Okay. Well, there we have it. Car seats, and they are brand new. You all see? Got the warranty thing and everything. My mom said, well, where is she getting from, mom? That ain't none of my business. Ain't none of my business. All I know is I'm legitly purchasing this from Facebook Marketplace. That's all I know. Okay, y'all. So I'm actually about to sit down. I'm going to make me some coffee and sit down and actually start planning. Y'all see my nose? I just want to point it out because I see it every time I look at me. Y'all see my nose? I got eczema on the tip of my nose. How? How does that happen? anyway so i need to i have a couple of things that i need to do today which i'm gonna sit down with you guys i also need to clean up because as y'all can see it's back <laughs> chunky <laughs> um so i need to clean up before the kids come home i decided tonight i'm going to cook baked spaghetti okay so i do pasta at least once time out the week because for one we all love pasta in the house but tonight i can't eat it because that's a whole nother story that I'm going to get into tomorrow. But anyway. <laughs> so, the twins really, really like pasta. Especially Khalil. I mean, he be tearing it up. Okay? He, he tear it up so bad. You'll think he never ate before. Last time I cooked pasta, he was licking the bone. Even though I'm not feeling my best, I'm fighting it. I'm fighting it, y'all. Because I'm not feeling my best whatsoever. Like, I don't even know if you all can hear it in my voice, but... My eczema is flaring up. Like, y'all see it on my skin. It's just, my my allergies are killing me right now. Okay, you guys. So, I have my coffee. Now, we're about to sit down and plan. So, this is what I need to do today. So, this year, I told y'all that I am responsible for Christmas this year. As far as hosting Christmas. So, I need to create an invitation Um on canva so i need to do that today send out the invitations because i want to be able to give people enough time to like an advance notice i don't want it to be last minute so i need to do that this I, of course i can't do this until later but i need to do kaylani's hair because you know sundays is usually the day that i do her hair however i did not do her hair 
because <laughs> um, I didn't do her hair because yesterday I did not have the items to do her hair. So yeah, I wasn't feeling good. So yeah, I ordered the stuff off of Amazon to do her hair because I really like Aunt Jackie's um, brand of hair products for babies or kids. So I bought a whole set off of Amazon because whenever I go to Target, it never has each piece. What? You say, unfortunately, your delivery is running behind schedule. We're working to make sure the delay doesn't affect your final delivery time. Your package can still arrive by today. I don't think it's going to arrive by today because as y'all see, this says out for delivery. This does not, which that's what I need. All right, we just going to have to see with that, y'all, because Lord, I want to clean up this downstairs. Um, it shouldn't need too much work because I cleaned it up the uh what day whatever day i decorated i cleaned up but it's back like stuff just on the counter stuff need to go into the recycling bin stuff like that so i'm about to sit down and time block it has the time blocking on it so y'all see that yeah so i could just put time by time what i need to do which that really does help me i kind of stopped doing it but I realized that it helps me a lot to stay on track because time can really get away from you, especially when it comes down to me like having to um, like fold clothes. That is something that I do not want to do, nor do I desire to do, but I have to do it. So when it comes down to folding clothes, I'll allow an hour for me to fold clothes, no if, ands, or buts about it. I can w listen to something, watch something while I'm doing it, but event for that hour, you have to fold clothes. So. And usually I end up folding all the clothes within an hour. It don't take long for me to wash or fold, y'all. I just don't like doing it. I just don't like doing it. Okay, so we're going to do a invitation. I need to first find a template. So we're going to do an invitation. We're going to do portrait. Okay, so I'm going to do a blank invitation. Let's get this. I need to go to my camera roll. And I actually saved a border. So I actually have found this border off of, off of Pinterest. So I'm just using this to have, um, you know, the obvious reasons, <laughs> the border on the invitation. So I'm just gonna add a heading right here, move this up here. And then I did, y'all see that right here? I had downloaded the Grinch font. So I'm gonna use that font. And then I'm going to just put your, oh shoot. This font doesn't, sometimes the font doesn't do special characters, so it doesn't do a comma. So, dang. Ah, uh, won't do a comma. Hmm. Uh, and it won't even do exclamation point. So let me see if I can do a comma like right here and put the comma right here. Have y'all ever used a word <laughs> and then it just seemed like it's like, um, like it just don't look right. Maybe because you haven't used it in a while. Okay, let's see if I can change the font on that one to something different. Yeah, I think that one matches. What do y'all think? I think that's cool. Cause it didn't. Okay, so you're invited. Is it all lined up? That's another thing that I like about um, Canva y'all because you see how the lines pop up it's pretty much telling you if it's lined up and I like that so you're invited so this is the final look of it I think so you're invited to our Christmas party date Saturday December the 24th time 6 p.m. and then the additional details say Kids are welcome, but please be aware that alcohol will be present. Dress cool Christmas PJs. Please bring five $1 bills for game we will play if you wish to participate. Alcohol will be provided, but we encourage you to bring your own also if you would like something specific. 
in their head. All right, so let's go ahead and send this out. Okay, so invitations have been sent out to everyone. Now I'm about to clean up, you guys. It is currently 2.47. I have to leave here to go get the twins by 4.15, let's say. So I have literally about an hour and 30 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and clean up. Oh, that's nuts, Millie. That's nuts, Millie. 21, can you do something for me? 21. Can you hit a little rich flex for me? Then 21, can you do something for me? Drop some bars to my pussy ex for me. Then 21, can you do something for me? Can you talk to the ops next for me? 21, do your thing, 21, do your thing. Do your thing, 21. Yellow diamonds in the white. This shit costs a lot. Never send a die. That's how you get shot. I DM in vanish mode, I do that shit a lot. Took her panties off and this bigger than the plot. I my ex. Oh y'all, also I forgot to tell y'all I went to Wegmans and look what they had, the Grinch kisses. So I'ma go ahead and add it to the treat bowl. So, I just got to put up these dishes right here because these are clean also. And I'm going to wash these. Whatever is in the sink, I'm going to wash it by hand. Then I got, to, I have to organize this deck on closet right here because, I mean, this um, cabinet because my kids continue to just throw stuff up here instead of putting it up here the right way. Ain't nothing, them hoes busted. If my ops ain't rapping, they ass fucking. You ain't ready to pull the trigger, don't clutch it. I know you on your fear, baby. Can you suck it? I'm a savage. Smacker, booty, and magic. I slap a nigga with the ratchets. I might slap a track on this whip and get the hat. Don't call me on Christmas Eve. Call your dad, too. Call your uncle. Don't call me, too. Always in my ear, your whole feet. Why my ass be posting guns and only use they feet? Hey, like an athlete, I got all you hoes. All of you hoes need to remember who y'all talking to. It's a slaughter gang CEO. I got it for you if I'm not working, girl. If I'm busy, the no. You need to find you someone else to call when you make it. Oh, that's nuts, Millie. Really. Y'all, so it's later, and I still haven't fully finished cleaning up, but for the most part, it's clean. Pretty much the boxes need to go in the dead going um, recycling bin. But I'm about to take me a shower. Surprisingly, my son decided not to come home today. He wanted to stay in my mom's house. So that's where he's staying at, but the twins, of course, will be here. So they're on their way home. I'm about to take a shower. Then I'm going to cook. I can't eat anything bad. So I'm going to be cooking quesadillas for them. And I got me a salad. Y'all, I'm out in the shower. The twins are here now. I'm about to cook. I don't know if I mentioned what I'm cooking. I'm cooking quesadillas. Not for me, for them. Oh, y'all see I got my apron on. All right, so I got chicken and I got steak because I like to cook both of those when I'm making quesadillas. I also got some uh, tortillas, which I would have preferred for them to be bigger, but I don't know. It's also great for quesadillas, so. And then the cheese, the four cheese Mexican. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking. Oh, 
that's nuts, man. Couple plugs, ayy. And this one is for the champions. chicken to be cut up more than that because I need to savor Kehlani sit down please this is my dinner for tonight guys I'm finally in the bed for the night I'm so tired but I am it's not even late y'all it's only 7 45 so I'm going to finish off this night by reading this book called Verity. I've actually had this book for about a year now and I never read it, but I've been seeing, I've seen two other people post the book. So I said, since they're posting a book, that must be a sign for me to read it. So I'm about to read the book. The twins are laying down. Kehlani, she is crying per usual she cries every night and every night i go get her but tonight i'm not going to get her because i want to go to sleep <laughs> that's it for this vlog you guys i hope you enjoy and i will see you all in a couple of days <laughs>